Hello children, welcome back. As usual, let us begin our day with the thought for the day. Thought for the day is, train your mind to see good in every situation. Children, good things, bad things, positive things, negative things, these are all part of our life. But try to look at the better side, that is always try to look at the good things or the positive things. So this positive attitude and approach is visible in the poem. Count your garden. Positive and negative incidents are part of everybody's life. The poet wants us to look at only good side and neglect the bad or negative side of the life. So the poem, Count Your Garden, chapter number 12, page number 28. We do not know the name of the poet, but it is a beautiful poem which inspires us to look at the positive side or the brighter side of the life. And the poet wants us all to be happy by looking at the good things that we all have in our life. And the poet advises us to neglect the negative things or the things that make us sad. And poet has given wonderful examples. Let us read and recite the poem. So I hope all are ready with page number 28. Count your garden. Count your garden by the flowers, never by the leaves that fall. Count your days by golden hours. Don't remember clouds at all. Count the nights by stars, not shadows. Count your life by smiles, not tears. And with joy on every birthday, count your age by friends, not years. So, wonderful examples the poet has given us. The poet wants us all to count the garden, to look at the garden, to look at the flowers. This blooming flowers of various colors, it will make us happy. Falling off leaves might make us sad. So the advice of poet is, just look at the garden and look at the number of flowers that are blooming and ignore the leaves that are going to fall or that are falling. Second example, the poet wants us to remember the life by golden hours. These are the sunny days, bright, beautiful days and the clouds or the gloomy days make us sad, make us feel sad. So again the advice of our poet is look at the bright sunny days, look at the bright golden hours and forget the gloomy days, forget, forget the cloudy days, forget those days that are making us unhappy. Next example is of stars. Count the night by stars, not shadows. Shadows are something that can make us unhappy. So look at the stars. They twinkle. They give us some light. And this twinkling, twinkling stars will always make us happy. So count your life by smiles. Please smile and forget those tears. And don't count your age by the number of birthdays you have celebrated. Just remember how many friends you are associated with throughout your life. Don't just count the number of years that you have spent. Remember the life. Remember the joy. And on every birthday, remember the number of friends you are with. So, look at all these good things. Count the garden by flowers is the positive thing, good thing. Fall of leaf, sad thing you can say. Golden hours, again good things. Cloudy days or the days that make us sad, just remember as negative thing. Ignore that. Count the nights by stars, not shadows. Shadows are something that don't make us feel good but the twinkling stars in the sky they make us happy 
so remember the happy part and ignore or neglect the part that is not happy happy that is not making us happy count your life by smiles not tears it so happens that we cry sometimes we are in pain something goes against our wish please don't remember that so many good things are happening every day and good things make us happy we smile whenever things are of our favor so many good things are happening so please remember your life by the smiles and just forget about the thing that have made you unhappy and on every birthday don't count the age don't count your age just count the number of friends you have again we will see what is the advice of the poet this poem has given us a wonderful message for our life you can remember this as a lifetime message poet wants to tell us that there can be happy moments sad moments the happy moments let us see what are the happy moments golden hours they should be cherished while the unhappy moments should not be remembered at all at night just admire the starry sky the sky that is full of twinkling stars and not the shadows on the ground because these shadows can make us can frighten us so don't look at the shadows on the ground just look at the starry sky count your life by the moments which bring a smile and just forget those which have made us cry and the final message is that on our birthday please don't count the age don't count the passing years but count the number of friends we have so i hope we all will learn to count our blessings and we all will be grateful for the good things we have and consider ourselves to be very lucky and fortunate for having what we have so wonderful message i would say a message that we should remember throughout our life isn't it let us look at the words golden hours meaning is happy moments it is a phrase and shadows shadows here means something that spreads unhappiness let us see what are the rhyming words flowers is there any word that rhymes with the word flowers flowers you can say flowers hours fall all tears and years these words rhyme with each other let us discuss the exercise that i will give you in separate pdf